lunch with the fam. And then after that, graduation. Graduation, it's the oh, end for them. I know the end is here. They're gonna be adults now, technically. It's too crazy. <sighs> it was just yesterday, they were just little babies. But now, no! Ah, grown ups! Oh my gosh! So you just walked up into Graduate! Oh, Mom's van looks extra fat in the camera. <laughs> uh, why is my name all over the world? <laughs> uh, this is irrelevant uh, it's name Tyler. I don't even know when he's graduating. <laughs> We're on our way for lunch. We're going to Rodrigo's. Everyone seems to be pretty rushed and in a bad mood today. Not sure why, but I think they might be hangry. So, let's go eat. Hello guys! We're gonna make our way down, hello! Good seeing ya. Hi Shane! Hi. I know! Good to see you. So glad you guys came down. The only twins. The only twins. This is my brother. Shannon, you look so pretty. About graduating. Dude, we need to go right now and get ready. That's so I feel fucked. So are you guys ready to graduate? Uh yeah. Are you do you feel like you're ready for the world? Uh, I think so. <laughs> the silence says I think it all. I got prepared yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I think this school system wants to go. Okay. Do you, do you feel sad that you're leaving? Yeah. Oh. For sure. Oh business. Hello? Is there anything you want to say to your future self? Put in work and whatever you do. Lift weights. Go hard. Get those games. Go hard and never games. hit it. Games. Games. Okay, what about you, Luke? Oh, what are you games. saying to your future self? Get that shit done. You know what you need to do? Get it done. Get that shit done. <laughs> How do you feel about graduating? I'm not excited, nervous, and uh, ready to be done. Ready maybe? to be done. Yeah, uh, I could go for like another year, but what? <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to leave all my friends or like my my You're younger friends. But are you ready to be an adult for real now? Uh, no, fuck taxes. <laughs> she has no job. Fuck mortgages. Hey, I still have a hundred dollars. Oh, hundred dollars? No, no, it's probably like eight hundred. I still haven't got paid yet. <laughs> Marco. That's right. All right, we gotta dip. All right, see you later. Later. See you on the flip side, dog. Bye guys. Later, <laughs> I love you guys. Wait, wait, wait. I think I need to get some money. I need some money. Oh, back. Okay. While we were downstairs earlier, we were talking about how, like, just say a year ago, Tyler and Luke were saying, like, oh, we'll be graduating in less than a year or less than 10 months. And it just got closer and closer. And then now it's here. And they're just like, just now being blown away by it. It's cool seeing them from my perspective because when I was young, I didn't really have anyone older than me as my sibling to kind of like, oh my gosh, look at how big you are, you know? Like, I remember when you were just this small. Even though your parents do that on a daily basis, I just feel like from a sibling's point of view, I don't know, it's just weird. I think I might cry. It's just crazy. 
they're all so grown up now. And they can take on the world after this. They're gonna be adults. They can be do whatever the, whatever they want. They can do whatever they want. They can be whatever they want. And life is just now beginning for them. Coming back to your hometown is seriously so weird. Just like seeing all the changes and you see all the people grow up and you haven't seen them in so long and then you're just like well dang you guys have families now or you're ahead of a company or you're you know doing some super cool things and the town is changing there's so many new buildings it's just kind of weird seeing it build up from the pretty much nothing like I was in Eastville pretty much when the cows were still here. I had farms just like down the street and now, it's so weird, it's so weird. So we weren't able to get a seat, so we have to stand on the ground and wait for everything to start, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. We're gonna work through it.
commencement ceremony for the class of 2017. Woo! Welcome students, parents, special guests, family, and friends. So as principal every year, I have the honor of giving a speech to the graduates and about 10,000 of our closest friends. And every year I'm excited to do so, but this year is even a little bit more special to me. We're supposed to be proud of all of our children, and principals are not supposed to love any class more than the next. But I have to admit, class of 2017, you might be my favorite. That's fake coming from 2014 class. It's just going. I was hired here at Roosevelt the, the year that you showed up, so we were just freshmen together. And we've grown up together, and you've taught me so much. And now you'll graduate, and, and I'll stay here and be a fifth-year senior. <laughs> but, but I will miss you very much. I've got something to get off my chest because I'm a little frustrated. And my frustration is not with you, class. My frustration is bigger than that. You know, we hear a lot of negative things in society about kids these days. And, and when you hear that phrase, kids these days, it's usually a negative re reference to adolescents or teenagers or, or young adults. In the media, we hear so much about millennials or Generation Z, and they're causing so much of the trouble that's in the world today. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is nothing but fake news. <laughs> and since I have an audience of about 10,000 of my closest friends, I'd like to tell you how in the world how the Eleanor Roosevelt class of 2017 shatters the commonly held stereotypes about kids these days. And although you may be gray hairs by breaking school rules with a walkout, breaking our school hat policy with your Make America Great Again hats, uh, I don't think anyone can question your passion for what's going on in the world. You know, I never thought I'd be on the top of a double-decker bus in a parade on Scholar Way, but class 2017, you took me there. Thank you. It's your job to outwork others. It's your job to persevere over obstacles. It's your job to always try to be the best at getting better and show everyone in the world that kids these days will transform the world. Thank you. Congratulations, class of 2017. The class before you has completed the course of studies of the state of California and the Corona Norco Unified School District. It's my pleasure to present to you the class of 2017. School District Board of Education. Would you please come forward to accept the class? Class of 2017. 